So I'm, so I'm finally going to try the Diva Cup, which is a menstrual cup, if you see. It says that right there. Um, it's an alternative to pads and tampons. I use tampons a lot, but they leak, and I hate wearing heavy pads at night. And you can wear this up to 12 hours or until it starts to leak if it's full. I got it from Target and it was about $37.99. So, and this is how you insert it. Um, yeah, and you can't refund it, so make sure if you buy it, you are set on buying it. So, let's try. So, when you unbox it, you just pull this white thing out. Um, which I think has the instructions, and then this is the actual menstrual cup. It's kind of stuck. Give me a second. <laughs> so, oh, it came with a little back. So I'm assuming that this is for to hold the menstrual cup, menstrual cup, when you're going to when you're traveling or taking it with you, and then it comes with some instructions so you have to fold it and then insert it and there's two different models so i have model one so model one is for women who are under 30 years old and have never delivered a baby vaginally or by c-section and then model two is for women who are over the age of 30 and who have or who have delivered a baby vaginally or by c-section and they're just different sizes like this one is just smaller just because the um, vagina is smaller okay and this is just what it looks like out of the box so um, looking at this the diagram I'm assuming you have to, oh, there's two fold options. So you can, <laughs> squeeze it like this. So you just want your Diva Cup to sit in there for about 5 to 10 minutes. So I have about like one more minute left. So yeah, you just want to sum submerge it in the water. The boiling water. And it says to be careful when taking it out. of the water. Because it is very... <gasps> oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't do that. Hey guys, so this is going to be vlog one of the first day of my period using the Diva Cup. So I had, oh, by the way, all the spikes of my face is my acne medication because it's like 11.20 p.m. and I'm getting ready for bed. So it was kind of imita imit imitating um, the process of like inserting it and reinserting the Diva Cup. So a few things is when you first boil the Diva Cup, make sure you cool it down because it's going to be hot. Cool it down with some water it does say to wash it and wash your hands with mild soap and water before inserting it so that's what i did and it probably took me about 15 minutes to insert it um you kind of have to find the right position um and the right method and since i've never had like a menstrual cup in i didn't really know how to like insert it and it, the box gives you instructions and i followed it <laughs> it was still pretty difficult so um and it depends on the person so a little bit about me i am a user of tampons i have been using tampons pretty much ever since um i've got my period i started off with pads the first year then i moved on to tampons love them ever since i do bleed heavily so i go through tampons really fast so sometimes on my like the first three days are my heavy flows 
Um, my period lasts seven days, so um, usually I'll go through one to two tampons within anywhere from an hour to two hours, and um, it's one of the reasons that causes my iron deficiency anemia um, because I do bleed a lot, and so I wanted to try the menstrual cup to help with that. And, like, if you're someone like me who hasn't had anything but tampons in the womanly area, then it's gonna hurt. And it's gonna be a shock to your system. Um, and I recommend, like, I guess putting, making it, like, wet with water. That way it's not so rough when you're, like, inserting it. Um, because when I took it out... You know, um, it was really painful and because it was like dry and like I wanted to like scream. So what I did is before reinserting it, I put water all over it and it slid in right away. Probably took me like 30 seconds. It was really, it's just, I recommend like just putting water on it and inserting it. That's the best method so it doesn't hurt as much. Um, you can't really feel it. It's like a tampon. If you put it in correctly, you can't feel it. I haven't had any leaks. I, I didn't really see the contents of how much was in the cup because I just like try to rip it out as soon as possible and it like dumped out. But um, it works pretty good. I'm about to go to bed to sleep in it. But yeah, I like it so far. Um, yeah. Hey guys, so this is vlog two of um, what's it called a week of using the diva cup on my period so sleeping in it was very comfortable I couldn't feel it I feel that as time went on um, slightly like the suction would loosen and so it would slowly travel down um, which caused like a slight leak um, when I woke up but the leak is nowhere compared to what it would have been if I was wearing pads or tampons or the both of them. So that's good. It was comfortable to sleep in. I wasn't like thrashing around and uncomfortable with the pad. And um, the process, like I'm still getting used to. So it was still like difficult to take out and uh, reinsert. Um, and then um, I'm going to go see how it is working out hey guys so i just got done with the gym i would say working out with the diva cup in is like barely noticeable um unless you didn't put it in right i did feel a little bit but it wasn't uncomfortable and i think slowly as time it did my suction wasn't good so it started like moving down a little bit um so it did cause a little leak um, but not a lot, so I need to work on that. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. I'm going to try running tomorrow. All I did today was the Stairmaster and then core. Hey guys, so this is day three. Sorry my voice is a little husky. It's a morning voice sometimes. So I didn't experience any leakage this morning. I'm sleeping with it overnight, which is good. Um, yesterday at school... There was leakage throughout the day, but I think it's because I didn't have a good suction. Um, and sometimes you do feel it like traveling down a little bit, but it worked amazingly. I didn't have to dump it out that often at all. Um, I dumped it out more than we probably have to, just to be sure. And I would just wear like panty liners or like a thin pad when you're first starting to get used to it. Um... But yeah, so far, no leakage. Hey guys, so um, I'm just going to say buy the Diva Cup. I think it's amazing alternative. You save money because once you buy like three boxes of tampons, it's the same price as one Diva Cup. It's environmentally friendly because you're not wasting, throwing away all these landfill tampons and pads. Uh, it is comfortable. I have slept more comfortably in the past three nights than I have in my whole entire life of having periods. Um, and it's super convenient because you don't have to carry tampons around. You literally take one cup, which is inside you like the whole time, 
and all you have to do is like rinse it out and put it back in so it's super convenient um but yeah just get it just get it please like you will not switch back um but yeah